This conference will now be recorded. Uh, hi guys, myself Ravinder. Uh, I'm working as a SQL DBA since last 14 years. Uh, along with this, I am also working on the MongoDB last seven years. I do work on Azure SQL DBA as well, uh, AWS and Postgres as well, along with these technologies. So I'm training since last uh, six years. So, you know, I do have a lot of passion to train and I do give training whatever technology in detail when I start any training. Uh, I'm starting MongoDB uh, training on, you know, Feb 5th, 2022. Uh, this course duration is 35 days and course timings are 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. And weekly we'll have the class uh, Monday to Saturday. Uh, who can learn this course? A anyone can learn this course. Uh, whoever uh, working, maybe who are interested to expand their skill set, or someone who got passed but they didn't, did not get the job for after the education two or three years, they can learn this course. I'll cover everything right from the scratch to advanced level of this course. Uh, this product basically runs on Unix platform, so I'll cover all Unix basics uh, to manage this product on a Unix platform. You don't need to worry about the this platform. I'll make you familiarize first, and then I'll start the product. I'll give all the setup softwares, and I'll connect one-on-one. -on -one. I'll configure all the Mongo requ requirements to start the practicals after you join the course and pay the fee and all. We'll see that after, once you join the course, or how we can get the softwares and install and do the practice right after the class and for this course please call me on 916 0034632 or whatsapp me for better response maybe sometimes i'll be busy if i'm not responding please whatsapp me so that i'll definitely get back to you and give you the details about the course and all uh, i divided the course into 10 uh, modules here uh, we will talk about what is uh, NoSQL technologies. Mongo is a NoSQL technology and why we need to learn NoSQL technologies nowadays and why the demand is growing. What kind of use cases NoSQL is fulfilling or RDBMS, we're going to cover in detail in the introduction itself. Then we will get into the Unix administration, Linux basic administration where uh, as a DBA, we need to know basic administration to manage the product on the Unix platforms. Generally, we no need to know about um, in detail of uh, voice administration because we are not a product administrator. We are we are a product administrator administrators, not the Unix administrators. So I'll cover all the basics what we need to know as part of the DB administration. How do we install? How do we uninstall the product? How we can move the files here and there? How do we change the permissions, ownerships on the directories? Browsing the directories and copying the files between the servers. There are basic things which we need to know. If we know all of that, that's enough to manage the product on Unix platform. I'll make all of you to familiarize the first at the OS level, then I start the product. Once we enter into the product, first we'll talk about the Mongo architecture. What are the internal dependencies we need to understand uh, to troubleshoot the product better? Uh, we will spend good amount of time there then crude operations uh, as a dba we do deploy all the scripts uh, before we deploy we'll review the scripts how do we review the scripts how do you write the scripts also we will cover in detail once you understand once we cover this one you get to know how do you review the scripts because i'm going to share all my experience and you can write your own scripts after i'll spend three to four classes in the crude operations there you get to know most of the information how we can write the script how we can review the scripts and all that so no skill families by default they do accept the data in any format uh, basically it doesn't have any kind of uh, pre pre-designed uh, structure on the mongo side it can accept any kind of data but if you wanted to impose certain uh, conditions on the data inputs we can impose it how we can impose it we're going to cover in the schema design and data modeling and after that we'll get into the mongo performance tuning performance tuning is you know uh, very important for any kind of product to the better results on you know like on the within the stipulated time we're going to cover performance training especially i'm very expertized person towards performance training i'm going to share good knowledge in this area administrative commands like we're going to see all installations migrations upgradations and security management backup restore all sort of administrative actions that we do on day-to-day -day basis we're going to cover in these two modules 
then high availability is when it comes to availability uh, every product need to give the or make the data available all the time so how do we make uh, replication technology to make the data available all the time we're going to see and scalability will give the data availability as well as scalability so the name itself is scalability how the sharding can work in practical how data moves in the sharding to multiple servers when we writing through mongo server we're going to see the architecture in the demo itself no need to worry uh, and monitoring tools how we can monitor how we can automate the you know like community edition tasks like backups automated backups automated data cleanup how do we recycle the mongo log file and what are the tools we use to connect to the mongo for easier administration and we're going to cover a class tool as part of this you know to do the ready-made uh, administration so this is complete package um, you know you guys no need to know anything about the mongo i'm going to cover right from the beginning to end so if you look at the this course is divided into 10 modules and every module actually i have given a brief uh, description what we're going to cover uh, in each module this document will be shared uh, when you guys contact me for the course uh, this course is a you know like a sundays we don't have class so every uh, weekly six six days in a week we will cover and all the course description i'll share once you contact me for the course uh, please let me know who, if anyone are interested thank you